to a question about uh, economic development. Colorado has earned news headlines in the last few years for our major growth, one of the fastest growing metro areas, being an incredible place to live with a diversified economy, good jobs, and virtually any opportunity outdoor uh, an enthusiast would want. We were considered for Amazon's HQ2, the Bureau of Land Management has chosen Grand Junction and our federal center for relocating their headquarters. And now Colorado can claim uh, being five of the seven sites that are being considered for Space Command headquarters. Given these honors and the continued evolution of our state, what do you think Colorado can do to encourage the best growth, business or otherwise, and in particular for your district? What are your thoughts on Colorado potentially being selected to house the newly created Space Command headquarters and how that could benefit our state? So this is another yeah this is another great example as Joe mentioned in the beginning of you know, all of us coming together to push for this and and there are some early indications that in the last 24 hours that we're getting a, a big piece of the pie for this because this is going to work this is going to be good for for all of us and all of Colorado to have as much of Space Command as possible here in Colorado to support what is already you know the number one uh, aerospace and space industry uh, in the country. Uh, and we can continue to lead on that. Uh, so I know uh, Doug and I are going to continue to work together and uh, coordinate as members of the Armed Services Committee to see how we can work together to continue to advocate for Colorado. Um, the, the, the last thing I'm going to say is workforce, workforce, workforce. Right? I'm not just saying that because I'm the chair of the Innovation and Workforce Development <laughs> Subcommittee <laughs> in Congress. But you know, I spend a lot of time visiting businesses around my district. And the number one issue by far that everybody tells me is they ha they're, they're having a hard time finding and retaining high quality, good employees. The folks that can do advanced manufacturing, that can do advanced math, that can do the things that our industries need. So we have to make sure that we are suppo supporting CTE programs, our community college uh, systems, our voc tech programs, because the, these are the programs and the and, and apprenticeship programs, a variety of apprenticeship programs, so people can get the training and the retraining they need to actually go to work for a lot of the companies in this room uh, and help grow companies, grow middle class lifestyles and support us going forward because our ability to be competitive as a state and as a community will rely on our ability to home grow our talent. We cannot continue to import talent from out of state. We have to make sure we have a pipeline of CTE and apprenticeship programs so we can home grow our talent and our workforce. Thanks, Jason. Uh, good comments. Uh, I am so excited about Space Command. I'll refer to that in particular in my uh, moments here. Uh, I broke the news yesterday that the temporary initial stand-up of Space Command will be in Colorado Springs at Peterson. That's really exciting. <laughs> when you have great companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin and other uh, Northrop Grumman and other amazing companies, Realize there are over 500 companies in Colorado, either companies or suppliers in the aerospace field, both civilian and military space. And being that I'm on armed services and from the Pikes Peak region, I concentrate on national defense space, but I know Ed Perlmutter and others do a lot in civilian space, and I support that. And there is a lot of overlap, actually. And as was said earlier, we do get it as a delegation. We always support each other on this, uh, the House and Senate, Republican and Democrat, because we know these are great jobs, some of the best jobs out there. It produces more jobs. Uh, Space Command is initially going to bring like an 100 jobs, but over the long term, it's going to have multitudes of jobs coming to Colorado. Some of those will be defense industry. Some of those will be direct military jobs. Um, I've been working so hard on this issue for so long because I know it's important for Colorado, it's important for my congressional district, and I'm really gratified that this is falling into place. We can't let up the pressure now because we haven't heard a final decision, and there are politically powerful states that would still like a piece of this, uh, California, Alabama, and even Florida. So uh, we can't let, up our, uh, let down our guard. We have to keep the pedal to the metal and push, but it's going to be so good for jobs and for uh, the comp 500 companies that do this work and for the men and women in, in uh, the military. And the last thing I'll say is if you don't have space assets for our war fighters, they're deaf, dumb, and blind. They have to have space. Okay, thanks. 
you know, once again, you can see us all agreeing on something so important to the economy of this state, and, and that's space and, and, and also development of high tech and high, high income jobs. Not to be a, a, a naysayer here, but I see this with my congressional district, the first congressional district, which is Denver and the southern suburbs, where um, the other thing we have to worry about, as Jason says, we have to worry about an educated workforce. We also have to worry about affordable communities and the transportation system that works. And this is something that the congressional delegation really needs to pay attention to. And we need to be working very closely with our state, state legislators and the governor, and also even with our local governments. Because if we have too much growth too fast, and we price people out of the market, even people with good high paying jobs, then that will be to the detriment of our economy. So infrastructure is something I think is gonna be one of our biggest challenges in the years to come. Well, I agree with uh, the statements made by my colleagues and certainly appreciate the efforts uh, of Doug and Ed and Jason with respect to Space Command and I think it's exciting uh, that Colorado uh, can play this pivotal role. And obviously I'm lucky to represent a number of federal labs and universities, University of Colorado Boulder, uh, double buff myself, as well as Colorado State University, I will say, so uh, supportive of both institutions. Um, but you know, there are incredible things happening on the campuses and the synergies there with uh, some of the businesses and industries represented in this room uh, in terms of, of space, uh, I just think is very exciting. I will just touch on the point that Diana made uh, that I think uh, is an important one and certainly one that I know is not lost on uh, the folks in this room, that we are experiencing incredible economic growth in our state and have for quite some time. That's certainly true in my congressional district, a booming uh, tech economy in Boulder. Uh, and in northern Colorado, the population growth, akin to what's happening in, uh, in the Colorado Springs area and Douglas County and so forth, just incredible uh, volume of people coming to our state. And with that come challenges. And I think we have to be keenly focused on how do we make sure that the communities that we are so lucky and blessed uh, to be able to call home, uh, that they remain affordable for uh, folks here in our state. Uh, we've worked our office uh, with local housing authorities in Boulder County and, and Larimer County and Broomfield with the business community to introduce a series of bills uh, that are fairly technical in nature, improving the, uh, the LIHTC program, uh, the Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program by way of example. They are bipartisan bills, Republican uh, co-sponsors uh, that we hope uh, will ultimately have some chance of passage in the 116th Congress that again would help uh, in terms of increasing the affordable housing stock so that uh, folks can continue to, to live in this great state. I'd like to echo Doug's comments. So we're number one per capita uh, in aerospace jobs in the country. We are number one per capita in the number of national laboratories that we have. And we are, there are so many other states that are envious of our position to have these really wonderful assets in our state. And they are competing like crazy. So we cannot let up whether it's on the Space Command or you know, our civilian side, getting to Mars, getting to the moon, GPS, uh, you know, the Dream Chasers. We have so many great companies here, both the major contractors as well the, as the subs, and we wanna keep them. But to Diana's point and to Joe's point, you know, I represent uh, Jefferson County and Adams County. Lakewood just passed a growth initiative that limits growth, okay? And we all have felt it. We felt the pressure of a good economy on our transportation system, on our housing prices. Those are some consequences of this. And so, but the other thing that we also see is a softening of the economy. And what happens in, in terms of the cycles, and Chuck and I have been around for a while, and we've seen this, where all of a sudden you get the growth initiatives and the limitations, and that's just after things have peaked. So we need to continue to support our economy, seek things like the Space Command, which is so great in so many ways for all of us, to try to continue to attract uh, good businesses to our state because things will slow down. And we all know it, but the good news for Colorado, we're not just a one-trick pony anymore. We have diversified our economy, and I wanna thank all of you for having done that. Uh, so we may be a little more insulated from the softening that really is gonna come. And we've gotta to continue to, to build on the great things that we've got. So uh, that's, a, that's a good question, but the, the pressure that people feel, we really need to upgrade our 
transportation systems, and we need to understand the pressure that so many young people especially are feeling on the cost of housing. Those are, those are some difficulties that we need to overcome. So I think it's just another example of how you guys get it. When you take the question of economic development, answer that, and then talk about the quality of life issues, how are we gonna sustain this, and then how we are gonna get in, uh, maintain the, the, the workforce.